Toronto based group Colorado are touring the world and they have been touring the world for the last decade, but they're calling it quits. But much to fans delight, they're touring just one more time. Why did it seem like now is the perfect time to kind of pull the plug, last hurrah? Uh, it's just one of those things that just like fell right. Um, you know, um, we're all still best friends in the world, and um, you know, I was gonna say we wanted to keep it that way, but I mean that's not even a risk. But like, we're still having so much fun, and felt like I didn't want to run the risk of having less fun. The Juno Award-nominated band has been touring around the world for over a decade, with thousands of fans buying the records. And now they are taking the tour bus out for one last lap. Your shows, the Toronto ones, like the first one sold out so quickly that you had to add a couple more. We did, which is funny too. I'm like, I've been saying to the fans, like, oh, now you care. <laughs> um, we've never sold out the Danforth before. Um, and then, so we booked one. We're like, that's ah, the last show. We can probably sell out the Danforth. And then it was a shock to us too. And our agent, he didn't even have the other days reserved. Like usually when a band thinks they're going to do that, they reserve all the days and then they announce it. And then so I'm spilling all the industry secrets because I don't care. I'm retiring. <laughs> and we could dance. Menno says the band is trying to take an every moment from the tour and they're making sure they don't take themselves too seriously. But even the shows too, we have a no practicing and no sound checking rule for this whole tour. <laughs> While well, Colorado may be coming to an end, he's in a new group that has been getting a lot of attention called Anyway Gang. Features Sam Roberts, Chris Murphy of Sloan, and Dave Monks of Tokyo Police Club. We were just like four people who've, you know, toured together over the years and we're like, yeah, that's... we're all fans of Traveling Wilburys. And we were like, we could just like go record an album in a few days. And we just spent a few days in the studio and made that record. And, um, you know, it's not like a band or like, yeah, this is a band. But we'll play some shows. That's it. The band will play their final shows in Toronto on December 11th, 12th, and 13th at the Danforth Music Hall. As Colorado gets set to head out on their final tour, the group's front man has a lot on his mind. He owns his own record label. And besides record sales, he's making sure his artists get something that most record labels don't offer, funds to support mental health needs. I've toured so much, um, and I see the toll that um, touring takes on bands. And just being in this industry, you know, there's a lot of highs, there's a lot of lows. And even on the industry side of it, like, um, in the last month, like, um, I've lost two people in, in my life in the industry, people to like suicide. While many view being a rock star as a glamorous job, Menno says there's a lot of stress that comes with it, whether you're on stage or behind the scenes in the music industry. It's a lot of late nights, it's a lot of pressure if your band doesn't do well. Um, so that's something I'm, I'm um, going to try and focus on, <clears throat> uh, seeing if I can change by getting um, people to... Um, have the support that they need. His label, Royal Mountain Records, is one of so very few that offer mental health support to the musicians. He's currently in the process of writing a letter to other labels to encourage them to help make mental health care available for all of their clients. I could never afford to like go see anyone or like you know our band would we would treat our issues by like fighting and drinking and like you know um, we came really close to breaking up a lot of times and luckily we had some really good mentors um, who, you know, kind of act, acted in a therapist role um, for free. Um, but, yeah, in my later life when I realized, like, you know, I can address certain things, um, that it's not witchcraft and, it, like, it really is a, um, a useful tool to, like, cope with this lifestyle. Colorado's last date will be December 13th in Toronto at the Danforth Music Hall. Their tour actually starts this Thursday in Montreal.